Welcome to Fen Friday, Fen Mail on Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. And you know, we're going to just jump right into it today. Um, last, in the last two weeks, we released a video called Fen Treasure, A Solve Explained. And the solve was from a gentleman by the name of Chris K. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did a very thorough job of putting together the pieces of the puzzle that he believes would solve the, the treasure hunt. Uh, he did not find the treasure. Uh, we did show you every step of the way, uh, although he believes we may have left some of the photos out that were pertinent, if, if indeed they were. Um, but you know what, we really, we did our very best job on this. So uh, without further, uh, here are some of the comments that we received on A Solve Explained. Go ahead, Ronnie, with the first one from... Oh, you don't have it. Okay. I got you. Uh, okay, so from Christine, she says, I felt that the rock idea is correct because of the lifespan of rocks, and the rock should look like a tombstone. That's an interesting thought. Uh, it kind of is. I mean, I would tend to kind of agree with that. Mm -hmm. Um there was a rock that Chris believed um, that was a stand-up rock that would have been Skippy's headstone had he been buried uh, standing up. And so I think that you know, that's one example. But again, we've said you can see a lot of things when you look at rocks. Okay, next up, um, let's see. Holy crap. Sledneck says, I just found footage of Lou and Ronnie hanging out in the good old days. And he, he's got a link there that you might want to check out. It's kind of funny. Uh -oh. um, here we go with some more Fen stuff. Uh, how about this one? <laughs> uh, Corvette Ronnie says to Zara's reply that he needs to be a better picker. He'll work on that. Ronnie says, I chose wisely. Um, oh, I think that was, we were talking about wives. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, mm -hmm. was the, that was the show about the, the perfect age. Perfect age. Yeah. Um, I totally agree how well I know with my son and is no longer here. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, that's got to be from Christine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She lost her son uh, a while, a few uh, months ago. Oh, that's really sad. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Where are all these Finn comments? I'm not seeing them right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I, I will tell you a couple of things. Uh, we really did thoroughly enjoy being on the flip side with Sean Dotson on Tuesday night. If you haven't already seen that episode, it's posted. You can find it. Um, I just just do a search for the flip side. That's always he's, he's a pretty bright guy. I, yeah. I I enjoy him. Yeah, he's he's got a lot going on. It's such a fun show. He, you know how we always talk about this show being two grumpy old guys sitting around <laughs> talking about stuff. His show, he proclaims, it's the beer drinking guys right. show. And he's not wrong. No, uh, and he does do a pretty good job of drinking beer uh, while he's doing the show. A lot of people have asked why Ronnie and I don't. Uh, usually it's because we're recording this at about 8 o'clock in the morning. That's a little early. A little early, yeah. I kind of use the 5 o'clock rule myself. Well, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Well, right, but, you know, not where I'm at. No. Until it's 5 o'clock. And you still have to drive home. Right. Uh, we did do an episode with beer, though. We have. Uh, it was craft beer, and I'm trying to remember. It was a, a place in Woodland, California. Blue Note. <sighs> That's right. Blue, Blue Note, Note Beer. Yes. And uh, they're hoping to expand across the country. Uh, and I can tell you that the beer that we had was delicious. It was very good. It was like a pale ale, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not a gigantic beer drink boy. I used to be. Yeah. Oh, boy. What beer did you like? Uh, you know, whatever, some, the, the beer that somebody handed me. I gotcha. That was the best beer. Gotcha. Uh, but now... I drink uh, Shock Top, 805, and there's a beer that we have a couple in our refrigerator that are left from Christmas. It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. Yeah, I was not a big fan of that. Yeah, Ronnie. it's uh, um, it's it's an acquired taste. Oh, <clears throat> I think it's mostly for 
Vermont non-drinkers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at some of our comments from um, our website. And I can see that this person wants to see more Fen videos. Uh, I don't have a name on this. It's just a survey that they've taken on our website, and they didn't leave their name. Uh, well, just so you know, uh, we do Fen shows on Friday, usually. Yep. If we have some good content, we just don't throw spaghetti against the wall and see if it sticks. Uh, we like to believe in the content that we're doing, or we just don't do it because we don't like to half-ass stuff. My spaghetti would stick, by the way. You, how do you know? Because uh, it's sticky. You don't know. I make sticky you spaghetti. You don't know. Sticky spaghetti. It is. Nobody wants that. No, nobody does. Uh, also, uh, we have a uh, person that we wanted to say hi to, uh, and her name is Roxanne. Roxanne, thank you very much for watching in Chicago. You know what, Roxanne? You don't have to wear that dress tonight. Uh, and if you don't want to, you don't have to put the red put on the red light. No, don't put it's, on the red light. It's not necessary. No, uh, I need to. Okay. Did I mention uh, Cassie's... A comment, Cassie, Ronnie? Cassie Whitlock? Yeah. Uh, she says, yes. Hi, guys. Just discovered you. My husband, Rich, and I are heading out to look for Fen's treasure August 3rd through the 11th. We have three solves. We will be exploring, and we will keep you posted. Now, if you want us to look at a specific place for you, let us know, and I will video for you. Love your channel. By the way, we live in Woodland, California. That's where I work. That's our hood. And so I'm hoping that Cassie and her husband, Rich, will stop by. Uh, before they head out of town and say hi. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to mention that a lot of YouTube shows will ask you to comment, leave a comment below, or like the video. And, you know, we're, we're not different in that sense that... We like reading the comments. We do read each and every yeah. one of the comments. And Ronnie and I do our very best to reply to everyone. Uh, sometimes a comment might just be a little bit bizarre. And even then, we might just like it to let you know that we saw it. If you get one like on there to your comment, you can pretty much imagine it's one of the two of us. Right. Now, we do have kind of conflicting schedules. Right. Uh, and, I, and I work all day, and Ron is very busy in his semi-retirement. And normally what happens is if I see Ron on there and he's commenting, then I take a little break uh, and, and, and go do some other things and put the phone down uh, and, and vice versa. Uh, if I'm on there, Ronnie pretty much can go about doing what he wants to do. And sometimes we're even on there together. But the point is, we do read them. We do reply to them. And most importantly, we do appreciate them. Yeah. You were telling me a story about watching some uh, C8 Corvette videos yes, and how they, they get a thousand comments and they don't interact. They don't respond at all. I just think that's so uh, uncool. Yeah. And, you know, and they have tons of subscribers, but they don't, they don't interact with them. So I'm not sure. And here's, I, I want to read this comment because I'm not even sure if you get what he's talking about, but Marshall George, and this is from our video of, uh, Fen Treasure uh, uh, Solve Explained. Okay, go on. So it was our last our last one. And it's from Marshall George. says, A giant W? Uh, it's a mad, 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 mad world reference. So do you remember that movie? Vaguely. It, in that movie, an old man... <laughs> it's, I'm not, actually, I can't remember if the, the guy that dies is old or not. But he he's dying in a car crash... And he has buried treasure, and what he's saying is it's under the W. And this this movie, it's a mad, 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 mad world, is star-studded. Every person in it, back in the '60s when I saw it, was a major movie star. So you have to go through and find this movie and try to watch it. But the end at the movie, the end of the movie. Uh, I wish I could think of the guy's name who's the police guy. No, it wasn't Peter Sellers. Was no, it? it's Spencer. Is it Spencer Tracy? Maybe. Anyway, they're driving along, and they're all driving past these palm trees, and the palm trees 
intersect like this uh -huh. and they form a W uh -huh. and then eventually everybody and it's a it's just a crazy funny funny show huh funny show so yeah. the letter W is significant yes but Marshall George thinks it, it might just be a reference to a mad 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 world <laughs> uh, here's a side note Ken Blythe is is one of our favorite viewers and Ken is a fen treasure hunter uh, he recently came up with the answer to a question I asked on a comment, which was, what was the name of our band? And uh, he found it. And I owe him a t-shirt. Oh. I got to get that in the mail, by the way. Because right? that's a deep cut right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and so I asked him, how did you find that? And he replies, Gallagher Entertainment, like the Forest Fen treasure, research and a whole lot of digging. It wasn't easy, he says. Don't be so vague on your Facebook posts. I could have got it earlier, creeping your history. <laughs> you know, I get that a lot, Ronnie. You know, you you don't really have a Corvette Ronnie Facebook page, do you? No. So you, because of your profession, use a different name. I have a I have more of an anonymous account. Right, and I try not to ever really use that or make reference to that. Because my department frowns right. on... If social you, media. Social. If you take a stand too far right or too far left, yeah, they're not too happy. And with you that. do make a stand uh, on your posts with uh, that. I do. I do have opinions. But see, people can't stalk you on your Facebook page. No. And in the last couple of weeks, there's a a surge, a resurgence in um, Facebook comments and posts on my page of photos and posts from years ago oh, like dang. eight years ago and somebody likes one of those photos it's like wow what are they doing oh, then they pop right back up yeah uh so please don't freak me out well can i tell you something very cool yeah so july 26th i got a message on you know how you get something on your facebook page that says hey a memory from oh right a couple years ago uh -huh. Do you know that July 26, 2015, I was at the Brickyard. I was in Indianapolis, and I watched the Brickyard 400. Oh, that's right, the NASCAR I was, race. I was there for a canine school, uh -huh. and so I sent my buddy that kind of arranged and bought the tickets. He bought VIP tickets, Wow, which were crazy expensive, but bet. amazing view, best seats in the house. But it was, it, boy, it really took me back. I, I appreciate Facebook. If for nothing else, just for those memories when yeah. pop up. Yeah, although some of them you look at and you go, why in the hell did I post that? Right. Yeah, I have a lot of those moments. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. That's going to bring us to the conclusion of this episode of Forest Fen Mail Friday. We appreciate your watching. You can see our show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then also on Sunday morning, uh, we do something called Sunday Morning Mass. It's kind of a free-for-all topic kind of thing. Yep. And we hope to be going live on that Man, very soon. Soon. So, I can, I, so close. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, we, we are not making this up. We just want to make sure we do it right. Right. We don't want to look like bumbling idiots when we uh, do our very first show. So uh, keep an eye out on that. That's likely to happen anyway, though. If you're a fan, treasure fan... Uh, if you're a searcher, you're probably keeping every penny you possibly can save. But if you're a fan of the Forest Fen Treasure that we do, uh, you can make a donation to our PayPal account to help us get to Santa Fe, New Mexico, to spend some time with Mr. Forest Fen. Uh, I'm in communication with him about once a week or every other week, and we chat about everything really except the treasure. No treasure talk. And we are not going down there to try to prod him for information or no. clues. That's not it at all. And Ronnie no. said this before. One of the reasons I think Forrest and I communicate back and forth is because I don't ask about that stuff. Right. You know, I want to know more about him as a man and raising his kids and how he started his business. And, and trust us, it's not that we don't care right. about that. Right. But he has made it uh, evidently clear that he doesn't he doesn't choose to talk about it because he doesn't trust the, himself that right. he may just blurt something out yeah. that would ruin it for... And we don't want to put him in that situation. No. And we have no design on that, believe me. No. We just want to spend some time with him 
as guys do, you know, having a great bet and, I don't know, throwing horseshoes or maybe a barbecue or something like that. Uh, uh, that's our plan. And we're trying to raise the money to get there. We need several folks to donate a couple hundred dollars. We're past the halfway mark and we really still need your help. Once we reach our $1,500 goal, that's it. Cutting it off. No more. Yeah. We're not trying to make money off of you. We're just trying to fund a project, which means we would fly down to Santa Fe, New Mexico, probably spend the night and get to spend some time with Forrest and then bring those stories back to you. Uh, and they will not be treasure hint solve related. I can assure you of that, okay? All right, Ronnie. Um, that's going to do it. Check out our website. New fun stuff there. It's been refreshed. You can find us on Facebook. We are available. We reply to all of your comments. Yep. And most of all, we want to say thank you for watching our show. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's very important to us. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and we can only do it one way, and that's through you, our viewers. We're inching closer every day. If you're getting to know us and you think you like us, subscribe. If you think you're going to subscribe and then unsubscribe tomorrow, don't bother. Yeah. All right. That's, we're in this for the haul.